not here to twerk. And if I walk around your house, you might call me a lurk. Get in the kitchen because I am always itching to make it work. This week on Make It Work Monday, we're going to do a very simple recipe. It always starts out like that. I always promise it to be simple, don't I? <laughs> Good thing we don't sign any legal forms here, people. Basically, we're going to make breaded cheese sticks. AKA mozzarella sticks. I was at this restaurant and these people on the on on the menu it was listed as breaded cheese sticks or and they had some elaborate explanation like breaded cheese sticks cheese in the shape of sticks dipped in egg and with breadcrumbs on it. I'm like these are mozzarella sticks. They're just mozzarella sticks, right? This is what you will need. Breadcrumbs. Mozzarella cheese. What do you call cheese that's not yours? Mozzarellas. I think I told the joke wrong. And our ever favorite ingredient in the Make It Work series, an egg. But we're not cooking it or anything. And you know what? I'm going to I'm going to promise success with this one because I'm getting tired of having egg yolk in my nail beds because clearly I care a lot about my nail care. Duh. This is actually a new European style. It's called um rachette. It's not to be confused with ratchet. It looks like ratchet when it's written, but it, it's actually called rachette. And it's actually like all the rage in Europe, so pff, I know it looks like they're just not done, but it's European, so I understand it if you don't get it. So here's the sitch. You're at the restaurant and you're like, man, those mozzarella sticks look really good. But then you're also like, man, I'm kind of feeling breakfast for dinner. Waffles, mozzarella sticks. Porquis no los dos. I think that means why can't we have both? I saw it on a Tostitos commercial. But really, why not both? So here's what else you're gonna need. Along with all of your other ingredients, you're also gonna need a waffle maker. If you don't have a waffle maker, maybe you should just pick the mozzarella sticks and go to the store and buy some. But guess what? I have a waffle maker, so we're going to make mozzarella waffle pies, patties, patty pie, mozzarella pate, mozzarella pate. So the recipe calls for mozzarella blocks, but like I'm on a budget. So I went to Food Lion and I got these mozzarella slices. And I'm going to stack these all together. It sounds a lot more violent than it is. What was that about violent? <laughs> and now you're gonna cut your cheese. Cut the cheese. <laughs> I've been waiting years to make that joke. I've actually been making it for years. Oh, this is the cheese stick. And like I said, this is actually just individual cheese slices, so welcome to Budgeting 101. I'm gonna cut them into squares. All right, so you are with these cubes of cheese. Um, I'd say it's about the size of a cube of cheese. So for good size reference, take your egg. Oops. All right, so take your cube of cheese, put it in some egg wash, or and put it on there. And then you're gonna go back into your egg wash. And then you're gonna put your egg ball, egg cheese square into some breadcrumbs. I think what we what might be a better idea is to do thinner slices because I don't feel like this is gonna be enough bread. So we're just gonna try it with the first two. Here's before. Taking it on the waffle maker. Oh, grease the waffle maker. 
This grease has been brought to you by Great Value Vegetable Oil when you're too cheap to buy the name brand. I'm gonna close it. It looks like it's gonna go really fast. Oh, it's making weird noises. It sounds like we're cooking crabs. Okay, didn't spray that one enough. This one looks like it's doing good things. Oh, it's green now. Does that mean it's time to cook? Or does that mean it's done? I'm gonna go with it's done. I'm gonna try it with a smaller piece of cheese. Oh, this one is the best. I kinda let it sit a little longer than I'm supposed to because then it gets crispy. So this is what we're left with. They're so adorable. This is the most recent one and it's adorable. Wow. And it has that cheat. Oh, look at the cheat. Three for 25. Three for 25. But if you call now, you'll get them double order for six ninety five. I don't think that could a, a deal better you could pass up. You don't think? Yeah. You so have to call now. Call now. 1 800. Give me some food. Give me some food. You got six minutes before the thing is over. Tick tock tick. Fun story, everyone. I'm 25 years old and I'm not allowed to eat mozzarella sticks. Why, Dad? Tell him why. Because he chokes. No, I didn't choke on it. My sister choked on it. Oh, her sister did. So now I have mozzarella sticks have been ruined for me in a social expi experiment. Ex right. Social environment. I'm joking right now. But really, um, so now we're going to try them. No. I'm going to try them. No, you're going to I'm try gonna try them. I'm going to try them. They're really good. I'm really impressed. If you like this recipe, please thumbs up. Don't forget to check back next Monday. And if you had a good time, hit that subscribe button because some of us aren't getting paid to make these videos. By some of us, I mean me. So I need more subscribers. So please like, subscribe, leave me suggestions. This suggestion was brought to you by Cassie LaPera. And I'm really glad she did because it's really good. Make it work today with Watch of the Way. Backwards, that's Layla, because she kind of looks like Yoda. Make it work, we must, right?